Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In this episode I'd like to go and mine a geode. But first, let's go and have a look at one of the some sort of semi-type problems that we sort of seem to get from time to time. What I'm doing underneath here is I'm mass producing sort of sand in order to make um, sandstone. What I've got here is I've got all of these as we know, did this last time, is uh, crushes, crushing gravel, well crushing cobblestone to gravel and gravel to sand and that's then being fed into the ME system like this but what happens it doesn't go into the storage unit so if I go out here and have a look at this chest so you can see I've been ex exporting stuff out all I've got in here is nothing in fact it's completely empty so what that means if I now look at my sand situation in uh, in my inventory so look you see I've got 110 K of sandstone plus 1300 uh, sorry sand and sandstone so what I'm going to do now is to show you a way to get rid of that and bring it into the um, system into these drawers so what I've got here is I've got a an extract here so what I'm going to do for this first of all let's get the let's get the sand a sand like this and a sandstone like this and then put that into this filter here oh I need to extend the bring that one more don't I need a crafting upgrade I think it is crafting a card acceleration card which one do I want I want the capacity card let's make quickly I'll make a capacity card this one and I should be able to make one of those no problem at all I thought I had actually got some of those in there but I haven't so put this capacity card first of all into this like that then we can get the another few items out of here so we can extract sand uh, sandstone and sand now is that going to work yes it is because it's then going to come into this chest here if that's turned on which at the moment it isn't now that's not going to work is it cause I've got a lapis lazuli in here right, I'll turn the switch on and then that's going to take the lapis lazuli out of here as you can see in fact that's actually not going to work very well at all let's just put remove that one get rid of that one and then put the speed upgrade again or the acceleration card up in that again put this one into here somewhere So we get the um, lapis lazuli as out as fast as possible, and then it will replace it and start sending out sandstone. So that's now linked to this chest here, the end of the chest. So that's got one red stripe on the on the first block. So if we go outside and have a look over here, I have that here, and you can see it's actually importing lapis lazuli at the moment into the storage con drawer controller, which means that everything in here will start to increase rapidly on this side of things here so you can see lapis lazuli should be going up in here so we've got 97 blocks in the system here and then after that it's going to start to do sand into here so that's that so that's a way of i don't actually understand why it doesn't go into this as a preference instead of going into the drawers but anyway that's how it behaves so that's how i have to work around it so let's go now to the um space station and then whiz off to a new solar system what you'll notice here I've got before I do that is a docking pad if I right click the docking pad I've got a linker in here and this linker is actually linked to the moon to the moon dimension 2 is the moon the space station is dimension minus 2 and that's and those are some coordinates and what's supposed to happen is if you send a rocket off where it's centered on this docking pad it should go to that location it doesn't seem to work at the moment, especially in this mod pack. But what else you can do is you can link this. You can link the fuel station here and hatches, fluid input hatches for output hatches for gases, and um, loading hatches, input and output also. So let's just do that and show you what I'm talking about. Because there should be a rocket coming here, but it's not yet arrived. In fact, it should be going to the space station. 
So what we want is we want some um, loading and unloading. So if we do it like that, we should find the four blocks that we need. So now we have a, a rocket unloader, a rocket loader, a fluid lo unloader, and a fluid loader. Let's see if we can make these. I might not have enough tracking circuits actually. That's an output hatch. What do we need? We'll need an input hatch on this one, I guess. So we're going to need a fluid output hatch. Oh, I haven't got any rockets in there. Let's get those two made first of all. Fluid tanks, we'll just couple of these. I've actually got plenty, but not there. So we want this one. And finally, we want this one. So that should. What happened there? Did I not produce two of those things? I thought I did. Try again. Right, so now we should be able to make all of these. So we'll make a rocket unloader, a rocket loader, a rocket fluid unloader, and a rocket fluid loader. Yes, and I've run out of tracking circuits, so I'm better going to make some more tracking circuits first. They're fairly straightforward to make these days. Um, and I'd better make a few as well. Because you're actually using quite, these quite often, it's surprising. So let's go down to the here. And we need to go to the precision assembler. Oops, that's a bit of lag. So what do we need for the tracking circuit? Let's have another look. So we just need a basic circuit. I have ender and redstone. Okay, we've got 31 basic. Let's make 16. I have ender 16 of those and redstone. And that should do for those three. Like that, and then we should get some tracking circuits made. Actually, while I'm down here, I was going to make a bionic leg as well. So let's look at that one. Um, this is also made in the precision assembler so we need a motor an advanced circuit and a control circuit board so let's have a look what we've got of those have we got any of those in here we haven't even got an advanced circuit actually let's go and make some advanced circuits let's go make four of those so we simply just take a normal advanced circuit plate cut it up and we'll get some advanced circuits in here so we got those we need a circuit board didn't we a circuit control board yes we're one of those and oh we've got one in here look let's put that in there and we also wanted a motor just a standard motor which I haven't got and that's it. This one. We'll make a few of these, I think, while we're at it. Oh, no copper coils. Have to make some copper coils. Going to be a shortage of making these. So let's make seven, because that will patch up with the one we've already got. So we should be able to now make a motor or two. Like that. So now we should be able to build ourselves the bionic leg. So let's do that. So that was one of those and one motor. You can actually put, you can do it like this if you want to. And then you've got one left. It didn't remove those, but that's no big deal. So now we've got our circuits. So let's go back upstairs and finish off our last. So this one is the unloader, wasn't it, for fluid? Could have gone the fast way. Had I thought about it, I haven't been this way for a while, so I've forgotten it. So, and I haven't got enough space anyway. So, what we can do, we'll make the other one anyway. So, because we need uh, that one, so we needed 
there was at advanced rocketry and it was a loader this one oops I got to do it through the crafting terminal and there we go put those in there so we now have got all of those four things so what we'll actually do is put a rocket unloader on here so you just put it down I don't know whether it needs power or not well, so if it does then we've got power anyway no we don't and what you do with this is you want your linker let's get the linker out I should have one in here because I've got one that's actually not linked to anything I don't have one that's not linked to anything I'll quickly make one of those if I've got the right thing which I haven't so right now what you can do with this this is the unloader here you can shift right click the linker onto that so you're linking here and you can link this to the docking port or docking pad here and it says it's linked successfully so what that means is when a rocket lands here this loader will automatically unload it so let's just put a chest on top of that or some sort of inventory of some cheap sort so let's have a look what have I got here got seven chests in there just want one We'll move that out of the way and we'll just put a chest on top of well, put a chest in front of it here like this and that should then automatically export I'm not sure whether it needs a, a conduit or anything we'll find out sometime I have actually got two items in the in the rocket that should come here so right let's go away and let's get into our rocket it's, it's just about fueled up but the destination is correct but you can actually from here using one of the keys and I've changed mine you can actually check in here you can see you can select destination you can access the guidance computer and do other and disassemble it well you don't disassemble it while you're in it do you and off we go well I'm going up here I shall just put my helmet back on quickly and wait a few seconds I'm just wondering with the bionic leg if I run faster and then fly do I fly faster than when I just run and fly if you see what I mean and there we go now you can see we're coming down onto the space station and we're coming down onto a landing pad I move the landing pad from the top and when I get here I've linked the fueling loader on the top here to load this up automatically onto the docking port or docking pad so this one here is now linked to this fueling loading station up here so now this will automatically be loaded probably already done actually let's have a look not too far away and as you can see it's loading up automatically without me having to do any work which is great so what I was hoping to see here was the other rocket because here I've got another land a docking pad and in this docking pad I've got this one which was the moon location uh, unfortunately it hasn't come I don't know where it's gone to probably stayed on the moon or something daft like that so anyway I've removed the door from here as well because it doesn't need it this is now air locked as you can see so now we're going to go and visit another world well, first of all oh I might as well check my dilithium status didn't check that a second ago I've got a, a strangely colored chest up here it is actually wood it's a straightforward oak chest so we've got plenty of dilithium in here so that means the hopper was also full as a hopper underneath it that's full so we've got plenty of dilithium in here so we shouldn't have any problem going anywhere we want to and here's the controller so what we're going to go to now is we're going to we're actually orbiting the earth and our destination is the earth we don't want that we want to select the destination select planet here so this is our the planets in our solar system which is oddly enough not our real solar system let's go up 
what I want, where I want to go to, ah, I've forgotten. I think it's one with two planets. Proxima Centaurs. So let's just have a look. Can I find another solar system in here? Here we go. Magnus Vulpes. So this has got two planets. So we're going to select this one, double click it. And then we have two planets here. And here is one called Sol 59. And we're going to go to this one. So we select that. I think I just have to select that. And now we can warp. And as you can see, we're warping nicely along. It doesn't take very long, actually, surprisingly enough. And now we've already reached the destination. So let's now get into our rocket. Hopefully I've got everything I need with me actually. Let's double check that because it wouldn't be the first time I've forgotten the important bits, but I'm pretty certain because I removed the one in the moon. So here I've got the, the miner, which is pre-configured, which is great. What I'm going to do is also I'm going to add some more diamond upgrades into this before I forget. So we need some, um, let's have a look, progressive automation. I want these diamond upgrades. So I'm going to make uh, a good load of these. Let's just do it like get the right crafting the terminal up I should be able to do 64 of those without any problem and then we want stone ones which is the same again 64 of those and then we'll do the iron ones which again will be 64 and then finally we'll do the diamond ones I don't actually know how many I need, but that's going to be plenty. In fact, I wanted to also install the little bionic leg, didn't I? Let's do that as well. Because I've got the workstation here and it's breathable air, so I can safely take my suit off, even though I can safely take my suit off anyway. So let's take this one here and then we put into our, our bionic leg. So now it's got a bionic leg on it. As you can see, we've now got that on the screen at the top left hand side. So when I go, I should be able to go faster. Right, let's go now. This time I don't have to go up and down to that thing. So let's just get into our rocket. Destination's already selected for us. So here we go. We see this takes a few seconds. doesn't take that long how far are we up actually while I'm preparing that let's also prepare the the refueling station which in fact all I'm doing for the refueling these days is simply taking a tank of rocket fuel that's got 5,000 that's got 6,000 where was that let's there we go let's take the 5,000 one Now on this planet, the air is going to be breathable. It's actually got high pressure. And here is a geode. So maybe, actually let's just do this. Shift and then press. I have got a marker for this six meters away. That'll do fine. Because I found this before. And you'll see there's actually a mob or two around here. So let's put down our magnum torch so we can work in peace. No, it's not there, it's in my backpack. Like that. Actually, I don't see where the mobs are, but they seem to be around. And you'll see here, I've been actually starting to dig this away. We'll go inside in a minute. We'll first of all, finish to digging this away. But what you need to break this geode block is you need a jackhammer. It says it here, 
uh, and its harvest level is diamond and if you try to use anything else here this is an obsidian pitch it's still not harvestable with a jackhammer it's very easy to go oh, like that and it breaks very fast what I'm going to do is break this all the way because I'm not sure whether or not the diamond miner can cope with this But when we look inside this, as we'll do in a few seconds, when I've cleared away these blocks, I don't know whether I need to clear them. To be honest with you, I don't know whether I need to clear them away. You see, diamond door is here. Just underneath the surface. Right, that should do for the starting the starting of this let's put here looks like about the middle of this doesn't it so let's get the hammer the, the tools out of here so we'll want the the mine and we want the transceiver I want a ender chest to feed stuff into and I want a pipe which is not in there but there's an induct here we've got an item conduct conduit here so let's put down the mine here now this it's not going to give me enough area. Let's have a look, quick look. Let's get my, get the tool out here. And when as soon as I look at this, it should start to show the area. But it's actually only going to do a 13, around about 13 blocks out. But I'd like to do a lot bigger than that. And I can't put in a second upgrade. This has already got some stuff in here from, presumably from the mine. Uh, oh yeah, maybe it's actually mining already. Look at this. It's running out, it's using the power. It can mine geode blocks great. So what I'm going to do is stick, stick that into there. So we've got now 918 blocks. Now we're going to put on top of this, of course, we're going to put on top of this the uh, dimensional transceiver. And that should already be configured, which it is. So now it's mining away. So all we now need to do is to move this stuff out of the way here. So I'll put this chest down here like that, and we'll put the item conduit between the two. Yes, I know I don't need to do this because that's always active and that's insert. So now things are coming in here and coming out of here. So let's go and have a quick look down here and see what we actually can see. Now, I've got night vision on because of the other bits. Actually, I should really fly, shouldn't I? Let's do it like this. You'll see there's a lot of mobs around here too. Because this is actually really dark. But look at this stuff inside this. See it's already... The miner's already mining down here. As you can see these cobblestone bits. It's going to fill all of this by cobblestone by the looks of it. Because I've got the filler upgrade on it. Oh thank you. Let's uh, sort them out. Oops, missed. They've got bubbles. And I don't know what the bubbles mean actually. because they shouldn't really be, they shouldn't spawn anymore because of the uh, magnum torch. So this is what it looks like. It is full of minerals. Just completely full of minerals. I don't know if it goes below ground very far, but certainly above ground, it's phenomenal. So let's get out of here. So I can remember the way. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember the way. We'll do it the other. We'll do it the other the easy way. Then we'll just take the pickaxe and go up. It's only stone. Oh, that's not stone anymore. So only now we need our jackhammer. And there we are. So I shall quickly mark this as a spot here for next time I come back to this place. Call it a nice yellowy colour, save that. So now we know where the mine is and also where the rocket is. I'll leave the torch here because I don't need that for the time being. And all of this area when we come back will be mined, I hope. So 
and there's nothing else on this world except for this oxide ferrous I think so anyway let's get this fueled up right click it and let's have a look what we got in here yes it looks like it's fueled up I can't see it completely yes it's fueled up so let's get in here and we'll go back to the space station hot dry rock as a biome reached the top so now we're on our way down again and there we are So next thing, let's before we. I think that's really what I wanted to share in this episode. But there are one or two other things we can do. We could actually go and explore another, another planet that I've not been to. I've been to Sol 57, 56, and 60 in different things. So let's go back and select another planet. This one I have been to. This was on the same solar system. So let's go up. What have we got here? That's our own home planet, Proxima Centaurus. I haven't been there. It'd be nice if I could scale this in some way, because I saw the whole picture. Let's have a look what we've got in here. I'll select that one. That must have taken me to Earth. That's strange. Sol 59, I've been to Sol 59, Sol 6, oh, I haven't gone back, sorry, let's go try again, let's go up, this one, select that, Sol 57, Sol 55 and Sol 56, I've not been here yet, so let's select this and warp there. Here we are, already reached there. So now our rocket ship should be fueled and ready to go. I'll quickly check it. Yes, you can see it's fueled, even though I've got everything in the way. And let's go. She's writing down the, this particular planet. So our current biome is space. <laughs> right, here we go. I think you have to get up to about a thousand. A thousand and three. So this looks very similar again, hot dry rock to the last one we visited. So there'll be another geo geode here I reckon. We'll land and we'll put a marker and then we'll have a quick explore. This time it's daytime. Okay, good. What do I call that? It was yellow, wasn't it? Let's call it green for this one. Save that. So 
So this is times, it's also high pressure, but it's still breathable. That means you can have mobs. And sure enough, straight away you find another geode. That's not, I don't think this will be any different than the previous one. But let's have a quick look here. So let's go down through the side here. Let's get our jackhammer out. We should be not too far away. And I can hear some mobs. Actually, there's a lot of mobs underneath here. What I'm going to do is put them, make another magnum torch. Let's do that first of all. Magnum torch is the wrong word, but it's a, a torch master. Here we go. Fairly straightforward to make these things. Let's put it down like that. And then let's just see what we can do with a chat camera here. Oops. Right. This one's actually lower down. Look at that. In fact. I got my ender sword with me probably let's have a look these are the uh, spirits which die after a few there's quite a few spirits here i was surprised about that so i'll have it in the torch in the, am i in the torch the ender in here so let's go and just deal with this enderman oh wrong one oh that's a lot of them moving so slowly oh head Skeleton over there, we'll just sort him out before we get into trouble. Good, I'm just glad you're here. He's zapped off again. Where's he gone to? Let's get rid of some of this stuff as well. Oh, there you are. Right, now you can't teleport away. that lot oh a skeleton over there they're well camouflaged so this gem or geo, geo doesn't look as good as the last one well i don't know it's got lots of diamonds and lots of redstone lots of copper ore what else has it got lots of tin ore i'm just gonna have to get rid of these because they're gonna hop around until i get rid of them and the man head and and the pearls don't need that cobblestone with me either, and I don't need these geode blocks. I don't need the sand or sandstone, let's send that back. And I don't need this, that. Okay, good. So, I think that'll do for this, and we'll get us cool down there, but that's not part of the geode. Okay, so how do we get out of here? Let's just go up. Where's my jack come up? I wonder if I can enchant the jackhammer. I haven't tried that because this is digging diamonds, isn't it? So, rocket is over there. So I won't. I'll won't leave this torch for here today. I'll take it with me and just use an axe for that one. And as you see, the mobs have suddenly appeared as soon as I remove the torch so the last thing we have to do is fill up the rocket and go back to the spaceship and then go home so so I shall do that and see you next time so I hope you've enjoyed this episode a bit of space travel not done too much but I hope it was interesting anyway bye for now